Let's review in more detail the role selection algorithm. The role selection algorithm is the ruckus software that controls the self-healing behavior with the mesh network. The role selection algorithm also determines the role of each AP participating in the mesh network. An AP needs to figure out whether to become a root AP or a non-root AP, and if it is a non-root AP, then it is used to determine if it is a MAP or an EMAP. An AP becomes a root AP if it has a direct Ethernet connection to a gateway or to a smart zone network controller. In this topology, we see that the root AP, R1, has a direct Ethernet connection to the gateway. The MAP and EMAP also have an Ethernet connection, but their Ethernet connection does not have a direct connection to the gateway. An AP needs to figure out whether to become a root or a non-root AP. Non-root APs need to determine if they are a MAP or an EMAP. The mesh states are R for root, M for a meshing AP, and K for an EMAP. A root AP has a direct connection to a gateway. A non-root AP has a wireless hop and its wireless connection is not directly connected to a gateway. In summary, non-root APs do not have a direct wired connection to a gateway and have one or more wireless hops to a root AP. Let's review how an AP decides to become a root AP or a non-root AP. If the root AP discovers a gateway or a controller on its Ethernet interface and its mesh hop count is zero, then it will become a root AP. An AP will become a mesh AP if it discovers a gateway on its wireless interface or if it does not discover a gateway on its direct Ethernet connection. It's important to note that all non-root APs advertise an e-beacon on the Ethernet interface to help facilitate both discovery and resolution of MAP and EMAP functions. An AP will become a root AP if it can ARP a gateway or controller on the Ethernet interface and it does not discover any MAP beacons present on the Ethernet interface. The above two pieces of information are asynchronous, which substantially complicates the smart mesh role selection. Certain race conditions can apply. If these conditions are satisfied, the AP then becomes a non-root AP. Let's review the smart mesh role selection. The AP will use ARPs to determine connectivity to the gateway or to the controller. If the gateway and the controller are on the same subnet, the AP will alternate ARP checks. If the gateway and controller are on different subnets, the AP will check connectivity to the gateway only. The AP gets the IP address of the gateway from either a static configuration or from the DHCP server. If the AP is configured to be a wrap, then it assumes that the gateway IP address will come from a DHCP server. The AP is configured to be wrap, then it assumes that the IP address will be provided by the DHCP. The AP monitors connectivity to a gateway. If there is a 30 second outage, the AP will change roles. When the gateway connectivity is reestablished for more than 60 seconds, the role of the AP will change. The AP constantly monitors connectivity to a gateway. If there is an outage on the wired connection for more than 30 seconds, the root AP will assume the role of a non-root AP. When connectivity to the gateway is re-established for more than 30 seconds, the non-root AP will resume the role of a root AP. When gateway connectivity is restored for more than 60 seconds, the non-root AP will return to root AP status.